my name is Julia and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be um, one of, a very exciting video, well at least for me, because this is one of my um, first ever um, official um, book reviews, um, book review videos. And today I'm going to be reviewing um, one of my most recent reads, uh, which is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm going to insert a picture here, or here, or wherever, <laughs> um, because I actually read this book on um, Kindle. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, this is a book uh, which I've seen getting a lot of hype on booktube and there's been lots of talk about it and for good reason. Um, so this is a... Um, I don't know how to explain it, like, well, yeah, I would say it's like a contemporary um, kind of new adult um, romance uh, um, book and it basically um, follows um, follows the na uh, the character of um, uh, January and basically what happens is that January um, is a writer and she inherits um, uh, she inherits this beach house in Michigan um, after her father suddenly um, passes away and um, when she gets there um, basically um, I'm, I'm trying to explain this without giving any spoilers away um, I might I might include some spoilers but if I do um, yeah I w I'll try to do it in the second half. So basically, um, it's about this character named January, and she inherits this house, this beach house on Lake Michigan. I think Lake Mich Michigan, but no, um, well, somewhere in this this um, this beach house by a lake in Michigan. I've never been to Michigan, so that's why I'm, I don't really know. Forgive me, <laughs> any Michigan people, please help me. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, so she inherits this house from her dad um, after he passes away and he, um, she, January is kind of um, going through, she's a, she's a writer, and but she's kind of going through um, kind of a writer's block and um, so she decides to go to this um, beach, to this uh, be beach house um, or lake house and uh, retreat her in order to get um, this like in order to like combat her writer's block um, because she's not in a very good situation and uh, basically she needs to write she needs to write her next bestseller ASAP <laughs> and um, so when she gets there um, she discovers that she has um, a neighbor which is quite close by and um, essentially it turns out that he is also an author and a writer and they actually um, they actually know each other from high school when they were um, oh, no not in high school from uh, college or university when they were um, studying um, well I guess English or or taking writing classes and um, yeah but they don't like each other anymore because they're kind of like rivals because so January um, normally writes romance novels and um, her rival um, Gus normally writes um, I think it's described as like real life novels or thrillers I would say like thrillers yeah um, and they're kind of rivals now because it's always like, oh, well, it's either him or her, which is on top of the bestsellers and are always trying to beat, you, beat each other. So, um, so essentially they are living there together next door and um, they don't really like each other and they are basically nitpicking at, you, nitpicking at each other saying, oh, well, um, I don't really like thrillers or real life books because that's just so sad and he's like Gus is always saying well romance books are just so 
I don't know, dee 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 dee, or like frilly, you know, they make fun of, e of each other's uh, books, <laughs> essentially. So it turns out that um, Gus is also having a bit of a writer's block. Um, and so what they decide to do is that they essentially swap genres. They make a challenge to swatch, swap genres. So January will write a thriller novel, and then Gus will write a romance novel. But in order for them to do that and help each other out to do, write these books, they're going to take each other for like, essentially dates. <laughs> and basically saying like, oh, well, this is how you write a romance novel. Or this is what, like, this is the tips that, w this is what I do, Gus says, when I write a thriller novel. And then you know what you can guess what happens it's like a rom-com book and you, you can you can guess what happens after that and um yeah <laughs> i really enjoyed this book um i think this is this is a part when i'm going to if you don't want any spoilers go away but read the book but if you have read the book um then uh, yeah then let's talk because I can't wait to talk about this so yeah spoilers start here um so yeah we all know what happens after that um dot 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 it's like you know um in all rom-coms um they end up being a couple and they end up falling in love and I really enjoyed this book, not only because of, it surprised me, because this book, um, I don't know, I just thought it, like, because of the title, I think, which is bad that I judge a book by its title, but I do, um, it, it comes across as quite as a, like, a light rom-com, romance, um, like, romantic comedy novel. Um, and, um, but it's actually deeper than that, like, there's, there's, um, s topics top covering, like, issues such as January's cancer, uh, not, not January, January's mom's cancer scares and her battles, um, it's also about how, the reason why her, her, she got, she inherited this house from her dad was, turns out that, he had been having an affair with um, this other woman and basically they were um, sharing this house together um, and apparently her mom knew about it but never told January and um, so yeah it deals with that and also deals with like divorce um, topics like from because it turns out that Gus is div divorced so yeah it was just like it was just deeper than I thought, and to be quite honest, I kind of enjoyed that. Um, yeah, because, I don't know, it, I just wasn't expecting it. It kind of made me feel more for the characters, and it just, um, yeah, I, re I really enjoyed it. Like, I think some of my favourite parts of it is... So, I don't know, it just sound, it's just really cute, and it's like basically how you have this character uh, January of course and she comes to this town this um, lake town in Michigan and um, like she goes into this local bookshop and essentially like um, she gets she gets pulled into like uh, this book club uh, meeting and uh, it turns out that uh, Gus is already there and both of them think that the book club is going to be discussing their books um, like yeah they're like January thinks that they're going to be discussing her books and vice versa and um, but it turns out that it's like actually none of them so yeah I find that quite funny but yeah I just I just loved it and I also really loved the ending it was just like it just made me go aww which is sweet but it was also like serious in some parts so and I think I kind of enjoyed that because while I do enjoy like um 
cute and fluffy things. I like normally books to have some depth to them, so I really enjoyed it. So I gave this book, um, Be Treat by, by Emily Henry, I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I think the reason why I didn't give it 5 stars was because, well, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. But, oh yeah, so I think it's because it had this kind of hate to lovers trope in the beginning. I mean, they didn't really hate each other, but they disliked each other. They were rivals. And normally I'm not really a fan of that. So I guess if that would have, part would have been t taken away, then I would have given this book five stars. But yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. And I think, um, yeah. I mean, of course, if you're here in this part, then you've obviously read the book and um, you know everything what has happened. But yeah, um, that's uh, that's that. And uh, so let me know what you thought of this book and what were your favorite parts of it. Um, and yeah, so I think that was it. It's kind of a short mini like review of it. But, um, yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. I, I have, I read it like in less than 24 hours as well, so that has to say something. But I mean, actually not that much because I, I kind of fly through contemporaries, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, Please let me know what else that you have been reading or what you would recommend if you know something maybe similar to Beach Read or any other maybe books in that genre that you maybe think that I or other people might enjoy. Um, so yeah, um, that's going to be it guys. Um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it once again. Please, if you can just um, help me out by checking out my bookstagram account, which is at I'd Read More Books, and also um, like and subscribe this video because that would really mean a lot to me. And um, yeah, I hope you stay tuned for um, more book reviews um, on this channel because I plan to do quite a lot of them. Um, I've read quite a few books, so yeah. Comment down below if um, if there's any book that you want me to do a review of or maybe like a hyped book that you want me to do a book review of because or we and read of course because that would be kind of fun this was kind of a hyped book to be honest and that's the reason why i read it and i get the hype i really do but um yeah i get the hype but not enough for me to give five stars, but four stars is still pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching everybody. I really have, hope that you have a good day. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you soon in my next video. Um, happy reading. Okay, bye.